हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर दैट इज प्लस क्लास लेवन स्टैंडर्ड इन द टॉपिक कोलिजन्स द क्वेश्चन इज शो दट टू ईक्वल मासेस अंडर गो ऑब्लिक एलास्टिक कोलिजन विल मूव एट राइट एंगल्स आफ्टर कोलिजन इफ सेकेंड बॉडी इनिशियली एट रेस्ट दिस इज द कंडीशन गिवेन that means in this uh, oblique elastic collision so first of all what is a collision so a strong interaction between two bodies which involves exchange of momenta is called collision in these two types of collisions are there one is head on collision another is oblique collision so in the head on collision if the velocities of colliding objects before and after collision are along a straight line such type of collisions are called head on collisions if it is moving in the straight path that is head on collision oblique means if the velocities are not along the straight line such collisions are known as oblique collisions we can say so okay uh, about the collisions uh, types we can discuss it later in the uh, next class first of all for this proof what do you have to do here consider two equal masses of each m initial velocity of the first body is let us say u1 and second body is at rest that is v1 is equal to 0 let us say see this is the first body this is the second body having the two masses equal masses this is u1 velocity this is v1 velocity here it is at the rest position if it moves in the straight path if it collide with the second body automatically two bodies will move in two directions let us say one first body will move in this direction with the velocity say v1 velocity this is the first body okay with the making an angle theta1 with the horizontal this is horizontal theta angle it will move in in this direction what about the second body let us say second body will move in this direction let us say which is making an angle theta2 with the horizontal let us say its velocity is say v2 this is the second body now what i have to prove is angle between these two bodies that is theta1 plus theta2 is 90 degrees we have to prove by using these conditions let us say if it is moving in this direction let us say v1 velocity it can be resolved into two components one is the horizontal component and as the vertical component as we know from the resolution of vectors we can get the horizontal component in this direction we can say that is v1 cos theta 1 this is v1 sin theta 1 this is about the vertical direction that is in the y axis this is in the x axis what about this similarly v2 this is in this direction with making an angle theta 2 with the horizontal let us say if it is theta 2 angle v2 is the velocity it is again resolved into two components one is horizontal component that is in this direction v2 cos theta 2 this vertical direction you can call as v2 sin theta 2 so here this is the resolution of the vectors now from this first condition for the obeying the collision is two loss that is uh, one is uh, um, law of conservation of linear momentum and another is law of conservation of kinetic energy if both laws are conserved then it is said to be elastic collision that's why i am using those two conditions to get the relation between them first of all let us say on the x axis on x axis so what are the components we have initially initial velocity a mass is m u u1 initially is m u v1 so you can use uh, total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision that you have to use see according to the law of conservation of on x axis apply law of conservation of linear momentum so on x axis so what are the condition here what do you get m u1 plus m v1 so v1 is the zero velocity 
is equal to horizontal direction. So horizontal, what are the velocities we have? V1 cos theta 1, V2 cos theta 2. These are the two horizontal velocities. Mass is mm, same only. That means again you have right. M V1 cos theta 1 plus M V2 cos theta 2. So M is common in all the all the equation. Then you will get this is becomes uh, 0. That means uh, this is 0. So finally you can write M cancel. You can write here U1 is equal to M also no need of M. V1 cos theta 1 plus V2 cos theta 2. Okay. Let it be equation number 1. Now this is on the x-axis. Next go to the y-axis. So you can apply same law of conservation of linear momentum on y-axis. What you will get? Y-axis means vertically. Here initially there is no momentum vertically. That means initial momentum before collision is 0 in the vertical direction. So what about the after collision? It will be resolved into two components. That means V1 sin theta 1 is there. V2 sin theta 2 is there. You use that one, then you will get uh, V1. So M V1 sin theta 1 plus M V2 sin theta 2. So M cancel, take it out. So you will get finally V1 sin theta 1 plus V2 sin theta 2 is equal to 0. Let it be equation number 2. Now to get this, we can use. Uh, squaring and adding these two equations what you will get so 1 square plus 2 square so 1 square that is u1 square left side 0 square that is simply you can write u1 square is equal to this whole square plus this whole square that is you can write v1 cos theta 1 plus v2 cos theta 2 whole square root plus v1 sin theta 1 plus v2 sin theta 2 whole square root again simplifying this u1 square is equal to a plus b whole square root a square plus b square plus 2ab that means v1 square cos square theta 1 plus v2 square cos square theta 2 plus 2v1 v2 cos theta 1 cos theta 2 plus opening this v1 square sin square theta 1 plus v2 square sin square theta 2 plus 2v1 v2 sin theta 1 sin theta 2 okay now u1 square is equal to from this equation look at this one cos square theta 1 sin square theta 1 v1 square take out the comma no cos square theta 1 plus sin square theta 1 plus again if you use this two take out the common v2 square root cos square theta 2 plus sin square theta 2 plus from this take out the common 2v1 v2 cos theta 1 cos theta 2 plus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 now this value should be 1 no this is also 1 no what about this one this is a formula for cos c plus d formula cos theta 1 plus theta 2 formula. Got it? Now finally from this you will get u1 square is equal to v1 square plus v2 square plus 2v1 v2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2. This is according to the law of conservation of linear momentum. Keep in mind let it be equation number 3. Now I can use for the Obeying of the elastic collision, another is required. Law of conservation of kinetic energy should be conserved. So, apply law of conservation of kinetic energy. So, as you know that according to this, total kinetic energy before collision is equal to total kinetic energy after collision. 
here total kinetic energy before collision is 1 is half m u1 square that is half m u1 square plus this when is initial velocity is 0 that means simply I can write 0 which is equal to half m v1 square plus half m v2 square simple so from this half f half of m cancel o then what do you get u1 square is equal to v1 square plus v2 square this is the formula let it be 2 now in place of above 3 yeah substitute 2 in 3 you can write here substitute 2 in 3 what you will get see u1 square is equal to in place of this you can write u1 square plus 2 v1 v2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 here u1 square is also cancelled now here you can write 2 v1 v2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to 0 that means simply equating these two cos theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to 0 that means cos theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to cos 0 means cos 90 degrees or pi by 2 simply cos cos then you can equate the angles theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to 90 degrees hence proud so after collision they will move with right angles to each other simply answer is this one thank you for watching all the best